I want the head, but it's not for sale. <laughs> All right, well, today I decided to stop at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Let's get inside and see what we can find to resell. Oh my gosh, it is so nice out. It is 75 degrees, which is rare for this time of year in New York. Let me get my cart. Let's see, where to start? Let me go over here. Oh my gosh, look at another Mexican pottery for two dollars. I love the design, it's a little bit different. Oh, I like that too. Art glass, wine, stopper, but eh. All right, let me put this in. Oh, look at this. It's a ceramic for two dollars, that's not bad. Let me put the Mexican pottery in. Ah, oh, no way. This is Lucite. A Lucite dog, look how cute. Ah, and then a Lucite, okay. And it's 25% off because today is Thursday. So I'm gonna get both of these, no questions asked. Definitely Lucite. Yeah, you never find Lucite. That's not a bad price for that. What other? Oh, I wanted to look at this duck. Oh, I thought it was a covered dish. Oh, it's Otagiri for five. Um, that's okay. If it was a different character, maybe. I, I mean, a different animal character. <laughs> that's Man Japan. I'm trying to find um Polish pottery. The, um, it has like a floral design, not the peacock. It's a little bit harder to find. Oh, that's Hall. H-U-L-L. -L. <laughs> all right, so this is all of my favorite things. <sighs> I see glass, pottery, oh my gosh, Pyrex. 20% off today. Here's the blue, the brown, and the yellow. I don't know if I could do that though. Um, these I already looked at the other day. They're all chipped up. That's the blue sky. My gosh, more Pyrex with stripes. Ooh, look at this. For $3 made in Poland from TJ Maxx. <laughs> Do I still get it? I think I will. It's not a bad price. Now, what about these down here? There's an ashtray. Oh, it's not signed. It's definitely um, handmade pottery um, terracotta. That's 10, 10, eight, and six. I don't know about that. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't think it's Mexican. There's fruit, a watermelon. Oh, look at this over here. Oh, I like that. Look at the glaze. A ceramic pottery for $8. I'll get that. And the bowl is 15. I'm surprised that's not signed. For now, I will get the vase. Yeah, definitely the vase. I don't see any damage. No chippies. Hey, look at my cart. <laughs> hey, look at this glass. Um, definitely mass produced. It's pretty though, the green. Michael's mask. <laughs> I had to say something. That is Orfer's for $20, um, it'd be $4 off. Oh, it's signed too. Hmm. I've never seen a signature on the Orfer's before like that. Is that a Rinconata? 
No, it's just a resin. Totally looked like it for a minute. Oh, that's cute. Ah, it has a little bone. The uh, Amish um, people are still there. Look at them. Occupy Japan isn't too bad. How much is that? Eh, $8. Michael's decanter. <laughs> That's a, it usually has a year on it. 1969. Oh, look at this set over here. Oh, that's Temptations by Tara. That's a little bit different. I've never seen this pattern. Looks like it might be a little bit older. Um, what is on there? I see a bee. Um, blueberries. <laughs> I don't know what? I think I might get these. I've never seen that before. So this one is two and two. So that's four, six dollars for the set. That isn't bad. I feel like I could at least um, double my money. I'll put that in. You go in and you go in. <laughs> Can't forget the shakers. Oh good, the stoppers are still in there. All right, let's look at these. They look like they're hand painted. Emerson Creek Pottery. I feel like I tried selling that before and it didn't do too well. Creamers. Cup and saucer, those are nice. I like the shape, it's a little bit different. See if I missed anything over here. It's a little bit different. Is that just a hobbyist? Kind of looks like it. Five and it has a matching plate. Oh yeah, that definitely is. Not a bad job though. Um, looks like it'd be from 1960s. Only because of the colors and the style with the gold. Ooh, antique. John Maddox Sons made in England, but look at all the damage. If it was flow blue, I would pick it up. Um, I bought and sold the flow blue with bigger chips and cracks in that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Avon! I can't wait for Avon to come back because I find it everywhere. Titanica, George Briard. Oh wow, I didn't know he made that. Um, stuff like this, I'm always used to seeing the gold. All right, I'm gonna check out the Christmas because Christmas is coming up really, really soon. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look how cute it is. I'm not sure what the, it's plastic. Definitely vintage, only a dollar, 20% um, off. <laughs> Let me slowly go over. That looks like fused glass. It's reverse painted. Oh, and there's a signature. I can't make it out. U-H-V-T-A-L. Well, it's signed and it feels like higher quality and it's only a buck. Yes, please. Definitely going in on this little cutie. All right, I know everybody's looking at these. <laughs> Let's see who made them and, oh my gosh, that is heavy. <sighs> I think that is Radco, Christopher Radco. Oh my gosh, look at all the damage. <sighs> I gotta put that back. I didn't even realize all that. Where's the head? Oh. All right, and this one, Hand painted. Okay. All right. The last one is certified international. It's a little bit newer from Marshalls. <laughs> I actually really like Marshalls. I was just looking at this piece of furniture. This is so cool. <gasps> Look. Ah, it looks like it'd be mid-century, but it's not. I could just tell by the the wood. I don't know. Maybe. No, it's not mid-century. 55, I kind of like it. Do I have room for it though? 
I would end up painting this probably. No way, wouldn't it? <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna leave it. I just had to show everybody. I thought it was awesome. I just picture um, some swung vases on the top, some orange Hager pottery, Michael's shoes. <laughs> oh no, they just added this. All of the planters. I'm pretty sure they put all the good planters up um, where the hard goods are. All right, well, I didn't see anything else. I think I'm gonna head over to Salvation Army. This is everything we're getting. All right, made it to Salvation Army. I hope they have some good items. It's been a hit or miss lately. I want the head, but it's not for sale. <laughs> All right, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, I always look on the top first to see if there's any swung vases. You never know. Hopefully we can find a fairy lamp, a glassy baby, Van Briggle, pottery. This looks like a um, high synth vase. That's a new where it's flashed on. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers me buying I believe I bought four of them, three or four at the, um, it's kind of like an estate sale in a warehouse. Well, those sold quick. They're antique, I wish I bought all of them. One sold, I think, for 40, the other 50. I'm kicking myself for not getting all of them. <laughs> They're only five bucks each. Okay, I'm not seeing, oh. Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, look at her. Looks like Cracker Barrel. No, it's not American Retro. Clay 101. It's a little bit different. She looks like um, she's about to bake some cookies for Christmas. Which, oh my gosh, I can't wait. What is that? Cafe. Oh, look, almost looks like Otagiri. It's different for two for four dollars. Let me take a look at this vase. All right, you can tell that's newer. Let um, me also tell by the bottom and it ha still has sticker residue. It still looks like it's um blown glass. How much is that? Seven. I'm gonna leave that. That is not Yadro. <laughs> Here's a George Briard chip bowl. Usually you can find the signature. I don't see one. I mean, did he sign all of his pieces? You should see the vintage um, chip and dip bowl we have. It has nice big orange flowers, flower power. <laughs> that's Michael's, almost $5. Yeah, I feel like if it was George Beard or Culver, it would be signed. This could be, um, Anchor Hawking, maybe. I don't know. I think about that, actually. It's huge, though. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. My cart is empty. Is that wood? It's a Nesco. One of the um, men, it's made to look like um, there's a certain company that made the wooden men or sailors. These are cool, made in Japan, most likely. I like the glaze. I wonder if that brown is ever gonna come back. I would say it probably will, if it is already back. That's made in, oh, that's Hall, H-A-L-L. -L doesn't sell for too much and it's always chipped right here on the spout <laughs> right on the tip here's a um, primitive looking clock it almost looks like it's handmade for $2.99 I do kind of like that Why not? I'm gonna get it for $2.99 and I'm gonna do it on whatnot if you like that country or farmhouse look this is perfect Awesome, my first item. I feel like I looked at this before. <laughs> it's just a hobby, it's 1974. 
always damaged though. This is just a ceramic, um, almost looked like chalkware. Well, I found Michael's hat. <laughs> totally awesome. <laughs> I know every time I come around this section, I always see something weird. Look at this. <laughs> My God. <laughs> He's riding the bike, he, she. Oh, they took the mask off. <laughs>